It's almost unthinkable that something so enormous is happening beneath Oregon, while most of us have no idea. The volcano called the Axial Seamount, which sits about a mile below the ocean's surface, is forecasted for an eruption by the end of this year. Nestled in the misty embrace of the Pacific Northwest lies Oregon, a land perpetually shaped by forces both ancient and new. This year, it once again commands the world's attention, not for the towering pines that darken its horizons or the untamed rivers that carve its valleys, but for the pulse of discovery thrumming beneath its soil, its forests, and even its oceans. Here, Restless nature and bold innovation meet at a crossroads of time and geology. Each day unveils new secrets. Forests scarred by drought and warming winters, rivers redrawing their boundaries, and offshore, hidden volcanoes hinting at dramatic upheaval. Beneath the Douglas firs and coastal skies, Oregon's resilience is being tested, its legacy rewritten in real time. So what lies beneath the waves, where sunlight cannot reach and the Earth's crust is restless with hidden fire? Could the answer begin with Axial Seamount, Oregon's underwater giant poised to awaken? Chapter 1 Axial Seamount, restless giant beneath the waves. Beneath the Pacific, where no sunlight reaches and the planet remakes itself in silence, a giant is stirring. Could Oregon's most mysterious volcano soon reveal its hidden power? About one mile beneath the waves off Oregon's coast lies Axial Seamount, North America's most active submarine volcano and one of the best studied in the world. In 2025, seismologists at Oregon State University warned that this underwater titan is approaching another eruption, its signals growing clearer by the week. How does a volcano in the deep announce its intentions? Not with fire and smoke, but with whispers, subtle tremors, swelling crust, and faint shifts in seafloor pressure, all captured by networks of ocean bottom seismometers. Recent months have brought a surge of these signals, each one a warning that magma is rising, preparing to break through. When it erupts, Axial could trigger as many as 10,000 small earthquakes in just 24 hours, a cascade of motion as new crust is born. Unlike land eruptions, this drama is invisible to the human eye. There will be no fiery plumes or ash-filled skies, only the quiet churning of the seafloor, hydrothermal vents roaring back to life and ecosystems erased and reborn in the dark. Bacteria, tube worms and crustaceans thrive here, living off chemical energy where sunlight never shines. Each eruption resets their world, forcing life to adapt, evolve and endure. For scientists, Axial is more than a hazard. It's a window into Earth's hidden machinery. Submersibles and sensors are being readied to capture the eruption in unprecedented detail, from the chemistry of new vents to the speed at which ecosystems recover. Each measurement deepens our understanding of the forces shaping not only the ocean floor, but the entire Pacific Northwest. So when Axial Seamount rumbles to life, what new lessons will it teach us about resilience survival, and the restless interior of our planet. And as the ocean reveals its secrets, what stories are Oregon's forests struggling against their own crises waiting to tell? Chapter 2 Oregon's Fragile Forests – Crisis and Innovation Amid Change From a distance, Oregon's forests look eternal, endless green cathedrals stretching to the horizon but step closer and the illusion begins to crack. Could these ancient woodlands, symbols of strength and permanence, be reaching a breaking point? In 2025, 
The quiet struggle of Oregon's forests is becoming impossible to ignore. Drought parches soils year after year, weakening even the sturdiest Douglas firs. Winters, once reliably cold, no longer kill off invasive insects. Bark beetles burrow deeper, multiplying faster, and entire stands of timber fall silent under their assault. Opportunistic diseases slip in where trees are weakest, while heat waves push ecosystems to their limits. The result is a mosaic of loss. Patches of brown and grey visible from satellites, scars of decline spreading across once untouched green. These changes ripple outward. Habitats vanish, fire risk climbs, and the very identity of Oregon's landscape begins to shift. And yet, within this crisis lies resilience. Forest managers deploy drones armed with infrared sensors to detect stress long before human eyes can see it. Satellites feed real-time data into models that predict outbreaks and guide targeted interventions. Researchers plant experimental plots of climate-resistant species, blending modern science with traditional fire practices carried forward by indigenous communities who have stewarded these lands for centuries. The forests may be wounded, but they are not without allies. Innovation and ancient wisdom now converge in an urgent race to save what can be saved and to reinvent what must change. But will these strategies be enough to outpace a warming world? Or are Oregon's forests destined to become relics of memory rather than monuments of resilience? And as people turn from trees to skies, what role does community play in rediscovering the spirit of this state? perhaps through something as unlikely as a hidden bottle hunt beneath Oregon's stars. Chapter 3 The Hidden Bottle Hunt A Statewide Puzzle Under Oregon's Stars In a year marked by restless volcanoes and struggling forests, Oregonians find joy in something unexpected. A treasure hunt beneath some of the darkest skies in North America. Could a simple game remind people why these landscapes matter and why they must be protected. The 2025 Oregon Hidden Bottle Hunt has begun, sending families, hikers and adventurers into the wild with clues in hand and wonder in their eyes. Dozens of hand-blown purple bottles crafted to honor Oregon's Outback International Dark Sky Sanctuary are hidden in forests, deserts and river valleys across the state. Each bottle is a prize, but also a symbol, of night skies free from artificial light, where the Milky Way unfurls in dazzling clarity. This celebration does more than spark competition. It draws people back into landscapes often overlooked. Sagebrush plains, volcanic outcrops, and remote trails where silence is broken only by wind and birdsong. Parents share stories with their children beneath constellations few cities can still see. Communities post riddles and victories online, weaving a statewide tapestry of excitement and connection. In honoring the Dark Sky Sanctuary, the hunt also highlights the fragility of Oregon's natural heritage. Protecting the night sky safeguards wildlife, preserves cultural traditions, and fosters awe. An emotion as essential to conservation as science itself. But as Oregonians search for bottles under the stars, another truth emerges. Not all of the state's hidden treasures inspire joy. Some lie in maps of danger recently redrawn to show thousands more homes at risk from flooding. If forests and skies connect us through wonder, could rising waters remind us of the cost of ignoring change? Chapter 4 Floodplains Revealed – The Hidden Risks for Communities It isn't always fire or ash that reshapes lives in Oregon. Sometimes it's water silent until it surges, creeping until it suddenly consumes. Could the greatest threat to thousands of homes be written not in the mountains, but in the valleys where rivers quietly flow? In 2025, new research and mapping technologies have redrawn Oregon's floodplains with unsettling precision. 
More than 17,000 people across Oregon, Washington, and California were found to be living in zones now recognized as high risk, areas where a single storm or river surge could turn streets into waterways. Climate change sharpens the danger. Droughts harden soil, only for torrential rains to overwhelm it days later. Rivers long considered safe boundaries leap their banks, while new developments push deeper into flood-prone zones. For families who've lived on the same land for generations, the maps feel like a betrayal, proof that the past no longer predicts the future. Communities now face stark choices. Some strengthen levees and drainage systems, investing in infrastructure to buy time. Others weigh the painful option of relocation, leaving behind farms, homes, and histories for safety's sake. And yet, the maps also serve as warnings with power, to guide new building codes, to inform insurance, to shape a more resilient tomorrow. But water is not Oregon's only hidden danger. While rivers redraw maps above ground, deep beneath the ocean floor, another kind of upheaval brews, an onslaught of earthquakes tied to submarine eruptions that few will ever see, but all must reckon with. Could the quakes unleashed offshore one day ripple toward the land, rewriting Oregon's story in ways more violent than water alone? Chapter 5 Earthquakes Without Warning – The Hidden Cost of Submarine Eruptions When Axial Seamount erupts, it does so with astonishing intensity. Not through one massive earthquake, but through a swarm, up to 10,000 quakes in just 24 hours. Each tremor is small, unfelt on land, but together they mark one of Earth's most dramatic releases of energy. The seafloor fractures and reshapes, magma hardens into new crust, and the ocean itself quivers under the strain. For coastal communities, these earthquakes don't topple buildings or split highways, yet their importance is immense. Every pulse reveals how stress moves through the Cascadia subduction zone, the same tectonic fault capable of producing a magnitude 9 megathrust quake. Seismologists pore over the data, mapping how energy travels, searching for patterns that could one day improve predictions for quakes that will strike closer to home. Meanwhile, the quakes ripple outward in another way, through knowledge. Oregon scientists use submarine eruptions as natural laboratories, teaching the world how Earth's crust behaves under pressure. These insights fuel preparedness on shore, shaping evacuation drills, tsunami warnings, and hazard models. But can knowledge alone keep pace with change, or must Oregon turn increasingly to innovation, drones, sensors, and cutting-edge technology to keep watch over a restless land and sea? Chapter 6 Innovation Takes Flight – Breakthroughs at the Oregon UAS Accelerator What if the key to surviving Oregon's next disaster isn't found in the forest or the sea, but in the sky? Could fleets of drones become the state's most important guardians? In 2025, the Oregon UAS Accelerator selected four pioneering companies to join its latest cohort startups pushing the boundaries of drone technology. These aren't toys buzzing overhead, they are lifelines, equipped with high-resolution cameras, infrared sensors, and AI-driven software capable of scanning landscapes in ways no human eye or satellite ever could. Over fire-scarred forests, drones map stress and detect the earlier signs of disease or insect infestation, giving foresters precious weeks to respond. Along swollen rivers, they chart shifting floodplains in real time, spotting weak levees before they fail. In disaster zones, experimental drone networks form airborne relays, restoring communications when power lines and cell towers collapse. For Oregon, where natural hazards come in waves – eruption, fire, flood – drones promise speed and foresight. They can watch where people cannot endure where helicopters won't, and deliver the data needed to act before small problems become catastrophes. But technology is only as powerful as the maps it creates. 
and as Oregon's drones and satellites render every scar in striking detail, a new cartography is emerging. One that forces hard questions about what to protect, what to rebuild, and what to let go. Could these living maps become Oregon's most important tools in deciding the future of its forests? Chapter 7 A New Cartography of Damage What if every scar on Oregon's landscape could be seen from above, mapped, measured, and turned into a guide for survival? Could data itself become the state's most powerful shield against a changing world? In 2025, Oregon's forests are no longer just wilderness. They are data streams, captured by satellites orbiting overhead and drones weaving silently through the canopy. Together, they form living maps that reveal the toll of fire, drought, insects, and disease with unprecedented clarity. From space, patches of dying Douglas fir appear as gray scars amid the green. From the air, Sensors detect stress invisible to the human eye, pinpointing outbreaks before they spread. For scientists and land managers, these maps are more than records. They are blueprints for action. They guide where to thin stands, where to plant climate-hardy species, and where to let nature reclaim what is too far gone. They also expose difficult truths. Every decision, protecting timber, preserving biodiversity, or reducing fire risk comes with trade-offs. The maps don't just reflect the land, they reflect human values, forcing Oregonians to confront what matters most. It is a cartography of resilience, but also of reckoning, seriousness. Will these maps mark the beginning of renewal, or will they one day be remembered as the final records of forests lost? And as Oregon weighs its choices, can the state find balance between nature's relentless change and humanity's determination to endure? Chapter 8 A State in Search of Balance What defines Oregon in 2025 is not just the turbulence of its land and sea, but the courage of its response. Hope. Can a state forged by fire, water, and time find balance in an age of relentless change? By mid-year, Oregon feels like a crossroads embodied. Offshore, axial seamount swells with molten power, ready to remake the seafloor. Inland, forests struggle under drought, insects, and disease, yet innovation rises to meet them with drones, satellites, and indigenous wisdom. Rivers redraw their courses, forcing towns to confront the reality of floodplains newly mapped in unforgiving detail. And across the state, communities gather under star-filled skies, hunting for purple bottles that remind them of both beauty and fragility. This is Oregon's paradox, a land in motion, but a people unwilling to stand still. Each eruption, each scar, each innovation becomes part of a greater narrative, a state refusing to surrender, transforming disaster into opportunity and crisis into creativity. The question that lingers is not whether Oregon will face upheaval. It will. The question is how it will shape what comes next. Will resilience and innovation carry the state into a new era of coexistence with nature's power? Or will the weight of climate, geology, and time push Oregon past its limits? What do you think? Can Oregon truly find balance at the edge of so much change? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the mysteries shaping our world. Because Oregon's story is far from over. Every ending here is only the beginning of the next chapter.